So it's not just Saskatchewan and New Brunswick. Believe it or not, there is a chance all Canadians could soon be heading back to the polls. This week, the Prime Minister prorogued Parliament, and when it resumes, there will be a throne speech followed by a vote on whether the House has confidence in the Trudeau government. So, if an election were forced, if it were held today, what would be the likely outcome? Eric Grenier is our CBC poll analyst, and he joins us from his home in Ottawa. Eric, great to see you. I see a pic here. I see pictures behind you on the wall. What is the current political picture in the country right now, Eric? <laughs> well, we're starting to see the numbers stabilize a little bit, actually. I think we can look at the latest national numbers in the poll tracker, and the Liberals are still leading. They still have it about at 36% support uh, right now. That is more than they had in the last election. Certainly, that's down quite a bit from the 40 to 41% they had at the height of the pandemic. You can see the Conservatives are at about 30%. So they're well back. They have come down from the last election. They had 34% of the vote in that election. They've taken a hit. They have been able to get a little bit of momentum over the last few weeks, but they're still well below where they were in the last election. The New Democrats, they're more or less where they were. They've been holding steady throughout this whole period. Same thing for the Bloc Québécois and the Greens. So really the big shift that we've seen is primarily that the Liberals are up over the last election, but down from their recent pandemic highs, and the Conservatives have still uh, some ground to make up from where they were in October. Okay, so we've seen some new polls and new numbers coming out over the last few weeks. What kind of changes have we seen in the just in the last time frame? Yeah, we are starting to see a lot of polls starting uh, showing the Liberals decreasing in support, dropping into the low 30s. But the last few polls that we've seen just over the last few weeks, uh, I'd say the last week or two, are starting to show the Liberal numbers stabilize. There's an Abacus data poll that was out today. They had shown a steep decline in support for the Liberals uh, ever since the We Charity controversy first erupted. But now they're starting to show them with a bit of an uptick. We saw a poll from Innovative Research Group still showing the Liberals more or less where they were a month ago. And a new poll from Ipsos Global News as well, still showing the Liberals about three points up over the Conservatives. Though they did see uh, a little bit of a shift away from the Liberals and towards the Conservatives after the Bill Morneau, uh, Bill Morneau resignation. They had enough of a sample for mo both to really get a bit of a glimpse, a little bit of a hint that maybe it'll have a hit. But we're not seeing the Liberals dropping uh, below the Conservatives in any re recent polls, and certainly not to where they were, let's say, at the height of the SNC-Lavalin affair. Okay, so a lot of changes this week. I mean, just here in Ottawa with Bill Morneau out, Christian Freeland getting, I don't know if it's a promotion, but yet another job and to go with the Deputy Prime Minister. There's going to be another new job awarded on Sunday night, right? The Conservatives are going to pick a new leader. None of these numbers contemplate uh, whoever is going to win on Sunday. So how does it, could this all change once the Conservatives pick their new boss? It seems unlikely that there'll be any big shift in the days after, because we have had a few polls that asked if the Conservative Party was led by Peter McKay or Aaron O'Toole, if it would change people's vote. It didn't really have any impact on the Conservatives. If anything, the Conservatives did a little bit worse with McKay or O'Toole inserted into a generic Conservative Party. Uh, both of them still remain relatively unknown, McKay a lot less than Aaron O'Toole. So there is going to be a bit of a honeymoon in the sense of people getting to know who the new Conservative leader is. And that, of course, could go either way. It could be that Canadians are excited by the new leader and, and the change at the party, or they think that the Conservatives are still the same old Conservative Party, in which case we wouldn't expect a major shift in support uh, for the Conservatives in the coming weeks. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.